morning everyone welcome to my channel if you're just joining us on this channel please um, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the notification bell so that the next I drop the next video you will be notified I'm going to be handling a session today on um, how to add your treasure, how to add your treasures uh, smart contract address to your treasures wallet that's what i'll be telling you today um this video is a continuation of uh, my previous videos on how to add how to create your treasures wallet so if you've not watched that one and you're watching this one you may not have full understanding i'll advise you click on description below you see the link click the link and watch the video the previous video on how to create your treasures wallet on your smartphone now today is how to add your smart contract address that's what i'm doing with here so i'm going to be taking you all the way from here just follow the steps you see and um, by now i believe you should have had your yandex browser on your phone so click your yandex browser And I'll give you some time for it to open. As it opens, you look at the notification sorry, at your, your fetch bar. You will notice that there are three dots, vertical dots there. Click the three vertical dots. Click the three vertical dots. Then go to settings. Click the settings. then go to catalog extension extension catalog click it and then give it some time for it to open now look below you will see um three vertical dots this time around they are white Click it and then scroll gently, go to extension, click extension. And then you can now see term protesters wallet. You click the term protesters wallet, and then give it some time for it to open. It may take some time. You are now as required to put in your password. So you have to put in your password now. So after putting your, your password, here comes your treasures wallet. Now for you to add your, your smart contract address, you come here to manage. Now you click manage. Then you go to add token. You click add token. Uh, now it has opened. Look at the token type. We have FA 1.2 and FA 2. Please. For each CN, we are using FA 2, not FA 1.2. So you click FA 2. And then you put your uh, smart contract address here. Look at this place. Look at this place. Place you see here is for you to put your smart contract address. You put your smart contact address here. All right, so this is a smart contact address. You can see the smart contact address that is KT1. And so that's the smart contact address that you can copy it now. This, uh, I'm sorry for the mistake. Sorry. So I haven't copied your contract, smart contact address. You can now paste it here. Yeah. So, 
this body. Um, watch what happens below here. You see it's loading. You can see it's loading. When you finish loading, it will give you the details of the coin you're talking about. Let it finish loading. Let it load. Loading, loading, loading. Yes. So you see it has loaded, and what do you see? On this phone, it has given you symbol is UCC and the name is Bitcoin Network, and um, every detail about it. The only thing I have to do is click Add Token. So the reason why you see the error uh, notification here is because I've already added this um, token to my uh, list of coins. So that's why you see it here. And it shows you already exists. So for you that you've not added it, you can simply go. Now that I've added it, how do I see the coin? How does it look like? So you simply come back here. Just come back here. Um, give it some time. Come back. And then these are your assets. You can see the coin network. You can see ECM there. So you click ECM. And then this is the wallet address for my ECM. And then this is the amount of ECM. When you get this ECM, when you apply for ECM today, being paid out on Monday as as, as usual, um, you, what will happen is I will advise you to swap this, swap it, swap your ECM with Tezos, not Bitcoin, no, Tezos, and simply take this Tezos to your Binance account. There is Tezos there. Tezos coin, where you can now get there and swap it to USDT and sell peer to peer. That is my simple advice. As for those who don't know how to use the Binance, I think I've done a video about that, but I'll still do another one relating to how to convert, how to move the money from Tezos to Binance. That's when my ECM drops to my wallet. I also applied this week and expecting payment 